Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tyler, and welcome to Scorpio Oxman channel. Thanks so much for joining us today. And uh, I am I'm really excited about this celebrity birthday today because on this uh, Wednesday, October 21st of 2020, another huge celebrity birthday, Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian or uh, Kim Kardashian West, we, we can call her as well. And if you've seen my videos that I've done in the past year, since 2019, when I started the channel, you would have noticed the primary chart, I'm going to show it to you right now, is the primary chart from Mastering the Zodiac, masteringthezodiac.com. And here it is right here. And so basically, this chart is from MasteringTheZodiac.com. So last year, I scaled the nakshatras on it um, to show where I believe the nakshatras will, 27 nakshatras would be located on it if we were to go by the Mastering the Zodiac calculations. And as you can see, the celebrity that I chose to put on, as you can see, Kim Kardashian, so this is probably going to be the easiest, this may be the easiest video yet, uh, because we're still going to look at the Mastering the Zodiac website, but you know, it's all, it's all laid out right there to see, you know, we could see where her moon is, the, her sun, Venus, Mars, and so on. And so that's, that's pretty, it's going to be easy to tell. <laughs> because with the other celebrities, normally I'll show their chart for Mastering the Zodiac. I'll show their chart for Mastering the Zodiac, and, and then I'll go to that chart, which is, it says Kim Kardashian's, uh, uh, that's her uh, birth chart details. But, but then, then, then I show you where, um, uh, I show you the comparison from other celebrities, as you know. Um, so anyhow, yeah, so today is uh, Kim Kardashian. Uh, the, the biggest birthday this week by far among celebrities, in my opinion. I think she's a perfect role model for this, and that's why I chose it, because she, she's right up there. She's the most famous person uh, probably on the planet. She's one of them. I would put her, I put her in the top two or three most famous people in the world, easily. In these modern days, there's there's no question about it. She's one of them, and I think she's she's a perfect uh, she's a perfect model for 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 astrology. I think for showing an example of an astrology chart, um, primarily for that reason of her fame because of her fame power. I would say, but ironically, this is no surprise. Her moon sign is Porva Vajrapada. That says a lot because we're actually in the age of Porva Vajrapada, if we were to go by Vedic astrology, believe it or not. Okay, and not, not just Vedic astrology, but the real natural sky zodiac, which I'm, which I'm going to show you about today and explain once again, as I do in my other uh, astrology on celebrity videos, celebrity astrology videos. Okay, so we'll get right to it. And so we're going to go to MasteringTheZodiac.com. So this is the MasteringTheZodiac.com, or this is the Mastering the Zodiac website, which is hosted by Athan Chimenti. And he has videos uh, out on a weekly basis explaining about uh, Mastering the Zodiac and how it shows the real natural sky as it really is if we were to see it with our own eyes. So this is it right here. Okay, so as you can see, all the signs are not... Each of them are not 30 degrees in length, as it is in the traditional tropical astrology system. Um, they're, all, they're all different sizes, as you can see, because this is in actuality uh, based on the real natural sky. Okay, so this is Kim Kardashian's uh, chart right here, which we have seen many times in, in all my videos of the last year. <laughs> and I'll show it to you again. Here it is right here. So we could... Um, I basically, I, I copied this and what I did was I scaled the nakshatras on it. So we're just going to go up to, so first of all, I meant to go on astrocharts here, astrocharts.com. So here is 
So on astrocharts.com, uh, Kim Kardashian's birth details, as you can see, October 21st, 1980, 10.46 a.m. in Los Angeles, California, United States. The birth, the birth time accuracy is excellent. So now we know that. Okay, so, and as you can see on Mastering the Zodiac, I, all the detail is right there. Okay, so, um, so basically, you could see here, okay, so Kim Kardashian, October 21st, 1980, 10.46 a.m., Los Angeles. Okay, so I'm going to move it up a bit. So as you can see, her moon her moon is in Porva Vajrapada, which is the number 25 nakshatra, okay? Now, just a reminder, um, the reason why I scaled these calculations that I put on here, they are based on the sun sign dates described by Jade Sol Luna from Austerian Astrology, austerianastrology.com. So on the website, I'm gonna show you it momentarily. On the website, each of uh, each of the nakshatras have uh, there's a different uh, there's a length of time in days in a number of days that the sun is in them. Okay, these are, this is what these are calculations are based on. Okay, for an example, Ashwini, which is the first nakshatra right here. Um, it's called Dioscuri is the Greek name of, of it, of her. But um, so basically on Austerian astrology, which I'll show you, um, it's, it says that the sun is in Ashwini for 14 days. So 14, when you put 14 days, when you put 14 days on this chart, um, this is where it's going to go to. It begins here. So as you can see with the cursor here that I'm pointing out to, so it be, here is the beginning of Aries right here, okay? So wherever Aries begins, Ashwini begins. It's that simple. And from there, you count them up from one number one nakshatra to number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Okay, so it's Jade Sol Luna mentioned that Ashwini is 14 days long when the sun is in it. Okay, so as you can see, 13, right here, 13 decimal, eight, one degrees approximately. That is 14 days in length when you compare it to here. Okay, so, that, so that's basically what I went by. And all of them had, all the nakshatras, they all had a different length in degrees because there was a number of different days. Not all of them were the same size. As you can see, Hosta number 13 was the largest at 17 days long, as it mentions on austerianastrology.com. And Chitra, uh, which is the 14th, the very next one, turned out to be the smallest. So this is, uh, so this is what I went by, and that's why, that is why and how I scaled uh, the, the length of the Nox the different sizes of the nakshatras onto this, onto the Mastering the Zodiac chart. So, so that is the explanation. So in, in it's, it was kind of a, it was kind of a grueling procedure. And I think it took me, it, it did take me some days to figure it out and fit it all in, but it has to do with calculating the number of days, comparing it to this chart, which is uh, the 360 degree Zodiac that, 360 degrees that circulates the zodiac. Okay, so Kim Kardashian, her moon sign is Porva Vajrapada, as you can see right here. Okay, so as you can see, her moon, as I'm pointing with the cursor, the moon is in number 25, Porva Vajrapada. Her sun, as you can see, it's not in Chitra. As it turns out, it's in Hosta, number 13. And as you can see, Hosta is the largest. And, and as I explained and told that on Austerian astrology, it claims that Hosta is 17 days in length when the sun is in it. Therefore, it's the largest, it's the largest nakshatra of all of them. Therefore, it's gonna stretch a bit, okay? So that's why Kim Kardashian's sun, I believe, is really in Hosta. 
And in the traditional Vedic astrology system, they claim that her son is Chitra. But I believe it's really in Hasta. I'm going to show you more proof of that as I read the description of Hasta from AusterianAstrology.com. Okay, so this is her chart right here. So, and it shows her, her Mars is in Vishaka, number 16. Uh, it also says her, uh, her ascendant is Anurada, which is number 17. And Kim Kardashian's, it says her north node is in Pushya. Pushya, they say, is the best of all the nakshatras. They call it the best one. And it, it, has, a, it has a strong influence. And of course, her, her, so her north node, or Rahu, is in Pushya, number eight. And it says her south node, or Ketu, is in Shravana, which is number 22, as you can see all right here. Okay, when going by the Master in the Zodiac chart and comparing the Austerian astrology sun sign descriptions of the nakshatras compared to it, or mixed, have them mixed together. Basically, basically what I did was I mixed Austerian astrology and mastering the mastering the zodiac chart together uh, for for comparing them together is is what this chart is all about yeah and again I think Kim Kardashian she's a perfect role model for this as well a perfect celebrity example to have with this as well for sure okay so we're gonna go to austerianastrology.com here it is right here so just a reminder, Austerian Astrology, um, Jade Luna, Jade Sol Luna is the host uh, of it, and he shined a light on Austerian Astrology. So Austerian Astrology, it is the Greek version of the Vedic Astrology. It is still regarding the 27 nakshatras that circulate the zodiac, only in this case we're going by their Greek names and not their, not their Hindu names. So, for example, we're going to go down the Hasta. So, Hasta is number 13. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so here is Hasta. So, in Austerian astrology, Hasta is called Sol. Okay, but it's still Hasta, of course. The Sol is, is, is its Greek name. Okay, so Kim Kardashian is a hot, her sun sign is really Hasta, I believe. Okay, so Hasta is symbolized by a hand, and as I'll read off to here, why, why it's symbolized by a hand. Hasta is the 13th nakshatra of the zodiac. The symbol, is a, the symbol of it is a closed hand or fist. Hasta gives the ability to achieve our goals in a complete and immediate manner. Hasta natives are skilled in everything related to hand. To hands. They are gifted craftsmen. So Kim Kardashian is a gifted craftsperson, healer, artist, palmist, and careers that involve wit and wittiness. She, she's like that for sure. Hosta people are usually endowed with comic and clever wit. They are good entertainers and charmers. For, for sure. The people born in this nakshatra. Uh, the people born in this nakshatra, uh, they can usually have a lot of hardship early in their life or in their youth, but they usually turn, turn their path to spirituality. Hosta people are very intelligent and make genuine and good counselors. Hosta people can have difficulty forgiving others. Uh, they hold on to their routines and their dogmas or they could. Uh, part of it is, is a, a shadow, the shadows, it could be the shadow side of Hosta, of Hosta natives. However, once they come in touch with their true self, their enlightenment is ininvitable. So that, that, ex, that describes her for sure. And Kim Kardashian too, like she was born uh, in late morning. So the sun is more at that point, at that point in the day, the sun is going to be more in power than the moon. She could be more like her sun sign of Hosta than she could be of her Porva Bajrapada moon. But we're going to get to we're going to get to her Porva Bajrapada moon uh, description uh, shortly. 
uh, before we do, I'll just read one, one last little bit of, uh, of Hosta natives. So Hosta indicates a person who is skillful with their hands. They are good craftsmen, they are good at craftsmanship and the arts, healers and massagers. They are clever, witty, entertaining and humorous, and they are good speakers and communicators. And so they like routine and security. Okay, so those are the, the, the description of Hosta natives, Kim Kardashian. Okay, so we're gonna go to Porva Vajrapada. So in, in Austerian astrology, Porva Vajrapada is called Chimera. Chimera is the name, is the Greek name for Porva Vajrapada. So uh, Chimera, uh, Porva Vajrapada natives indicates a person who is passionate and transformational, but they can be a little extreme and indulgent. They are idealists and nonconformists, and they are good. They are good influencers of others, and they can also. But they a shadow side is they can be a bit fearful, nervous, cynical, and eccentric. It's eccentric in a good way as well, obviously. Um, okay, so and it says here, uh, Porva Badrapada natives they rise up, uh, rises up our. our Porva Vajrapada rises up our spiritual aspiration in life and takes us out of the domain of selfish behavior. This is a transformational nakshatra where people will sacrifice themselves for a higher cause to make a difference in the world. So she's done that. She, we, we've heard a lot lately of what Kim Kardashian has done to help people. And she, she's done a lot. She's, she's given a lot. She really gives her time to help with the, her charities and her causes. And she, she's, an ama she's amazing. She's a hero. She's like a national hero. And, and like a world, I, I would consider her a world hero as well. And, and again, a perfect role model for sure. And this proves it right here, uh, what it says right here. Um, they sacrifice sacrifice themselves for a higher cause to make a difference in the world. So there you go. The proof is in the pudding. And, if, and by the way, in the traditional Vedic system, uh, uh, traditional Vedic astrology system, her moon sign is, Porva, is still Porva Vajrapada. So it's, it still is in the Vedic and in, in the Mastering the Zodiac system. So, so it remains the same. So... Uh, so Porva Padrapada is the nakshatra which inspires the native born in it to reach for higher goals in life. More evidence, more evidence of authenticity, of more evidence of authenticity of astrology, as usual. The people born here are ex the people born in this nakshatra are extremely idealistic and very passionate about their cause. They are also usually nonconformist and fairly rebellious. They tend to acquire eccentric qualities, uh, which give them a lot, which could, could get, get them into trouble in life at times. However, they have excellent oratory skills, which they use effectively to spread their convictions. Amazing. And I want to show you something briefly. In uh, so this this site is Janice uh, JaniceSpeaks.com. So Kim Kardashian's sun sign. I just want to point it out uh, one more time. So her sun. I'm going to move in closer here. So as you can see, her her sun sign. It's actually in the fourth quarter of yeah. It's it's actually the fourth quarter of Hosta. What it says here. And so I'm going to read right here what it says about those who have, who are a native of the fourth quarter of Hosta. So Kim Kardashian, her sun sign, it's in Hosta, I believe, in the fourth quarter. So here's what it says about those who have um, a sun placement or moon placement in the fourth quarter, in the fourth quarter of Hosta, which Kim Kardashian has her sun in it in the fourth quarter. The fourth pada, fourth quarter or pada as it's called, 
the fourth pada of the Hasta Nakshatra comes in the can the the sign of Cancer Nav Navamasa ruled but which is ruled by the moon. Uh, Nav Navamasa, which is ruled by the moon. So the focus the focus here. So these natives are focused on harmony in the family and material security. Mater focused on harmony in the family and material security. So when I saw that, I think it explains a lot. It explains a lot about um, of why it's authentic that her son is the fourth quarter of Hasta. So guys, I can't thank you again for all your support. I want to thank all my subscribers and all my fans for all, all your support for, for the channel. And I can't thank you enough. <clears throat> I can't thank you enough again. It means a lot for all you've done and keep the messages coming as well. I give right now, I still give free, free advice and uh, I love doing it. I love helping you out and anything you need, anything you need of advice and in general, I'm here for you. I want you to know I'm here for you. And uh, that's, that's a true, that's the true on your auto spirit. My moon sign is on your auto. I'm all about friendship. I'm all about helping, I'm all about giving, reaching out, giving a helping hand, you name it. I'm all about that. So let me know what you need to know about or anything in general. And you know, I am your friend. That's the bottom line. That's, that's, that's what On Your Auto Natives are all about. That's what I am, that's what I'm all about. So thanks again for watching guys on, uh, on the birthday celebration and the astrology information the real astrology information of Kim Kardashian. So, and I give her my best as well. All the best to you, Kim, and your family, and everybody else out there as well. All the best, guys. God bless. Thanks again.